November 11th, 2020 practice. Complete the ratio table using the following ratio comparison statement. For every one daffodil, there are five tulips. So I have daffodils and tulips. So for every one daffodil, there are five tulips. All right, let's fill in the rest of the table. So we don't see a pattern of one, two, five. So we don't know that. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say, okay, first part, how do you get from one to two? Well, from one to two, I know I multiply by two. So one times two, does that equal two? Yes, it does. What you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. So if I do 5 times 2, what do you get? You get 10. So that's it for that part. Now let's take a look at the next portion. So let's go to the next part of our table. All right, so what we have here is um, 1 to 5, and then 5 to, well, we don't know. How do you get from 1 to 5? I know, you multiply by 5. Ooh, yeah. So 1 times 5 is 5. If I do that to the top, I must do it to the bottom. So 5 times 5, I know that's 25. So 5 times 5 is 25. So that's it for that part of the table. All right, let's move it on over. Move it on over. All righty, so... Ooh, this, top, this part we're missing the top. So 5 to 35. How do you get from 5 to 35? Hmm, I know I multiply by 7. Oh, yeah. So 5 times 7 is 35. What you do to the bottom, you must do to the top. And what you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. So what's 1 times 7? 1 times 7, if I follow that rainbow, you get 7. All right, let's move it on over. I have a 10 here, and then I have a blank here. So how do I get from 1 to 10? Well, I multiply by 10 here. All right, so now if I multiply by the top by 10, I must multiply the bottom by 10. Do, do, do. Um, so what is 1 times 10? That is 10. 5, follow this rainbow, times 10. 5 times 10 is 50. All right. Let's take a look at um, the last one now. Do, do, do. Alrighty, so this last one in our table is going to be a one and then um, a blank and then a five and then 65. So how do I get from five to 65? Well, five times what is 65? Well, I know 5 times 9 is 45. What about 5 times 10? That's 50. 5 times 11? That's 55. 5 times 12 is 60. 5 times 13 is 65. Or you can say, okay, 65 divided by 5 I know is 13. Um, you can also do a long division there. All right, so 5 times 13 is 65. What you do to the bottom, you must do to the top, and vice versa, meaning what you do to the top, you must do to the bottom. So 1 times 13 is just 13. That's it. So that is it for our practice. Great job.